mabadili mema katika Biblia takatifu ndio sababu nilikuwa kuchagua njia hii ambayo tunashuhudia jioni hii leo asante sana wazee wa kanisa wote wa shiriki wote ambao wamehusika pamoja na wachungaji wetu wote kama mchungaji Pastor Kido ambaye amehusika sana katika maandalizi ya ndoa hii na mshukuru sana kwa yale yote ambayo anaweza kufanya kwa ajili ya kuwezesha vijana hawa wapate kufunga ndoa katika njia ya Biblia nataka niweze kuwashukuru pia Felix pamoja na Bunda kwa kuweza kuchagua njia hii mara nyingi watu wanachagua njia zao lakini mwaweza kuwa na utulivu mzuri mkachagua njia hii tunawashangilia we congratulate you and we thank God for you you are very as proud and as a church we are very happy for this that you people have done may God bless you niruhusu kusema machache sana sababu ya muda niruhusu kusema machache sana katika neno la Mungu ambalo lesha somewa hapa kutoka katika kitabu cha mwanzo tunajua ya kwamba ndoa ilianzishwa katika msamba la Eden Mungu mwenyewe ndiye mwanzilishi wa ndoa it is God that started marriage the first wedding was conducted in the garden of Eden na wazazi wetu wa kwanza Adam pamoja na mkewe waliunganishwa na Mungu mwenyewe katika shamba la Eden imekuwa ni mapenzi yake mwenyezi Mungu ndoa zetu zote siweze kumruhusu Mwenyezi Mungu awe katikati katika mambo yote and this I want to tell you my dear young ones that the reason why we are doing this service in the church of God is just to confirm to you that God is the owner of this marriage he is the one who started this holy institution and we want to recommend you to him all the days of your life as long as you shall live in this lifelong commitment kuna wapendekezea huyu mwanzilishi wa ndoa the architect of marriage the designer of marriage yule ambaye anajua kona zote za ndoa mwenyezi Mungu mwenyewe the one who is able to change our challenges to become opportunities because he understands our marriage this is the God that we recommend to you. And as you start your journey in this church this evening, may you never forget that uh, Christ is the head of the house. The unseen guest at every meal. The silent listener to every, you may not know. That inscription used to be in almost every wall of Adventist home or Christian home. The silent, silent listener to every conversation. Dear Jesus Christ. Now, home is intended to be bright and happy all the time. Home is intended to be bright and happy all the time. But that does not mean that challenges will not come. Marriage is like Melekevu Abayo Kiko Bahari. Abayo Kina Fikwa Nathoruba Kuku Nakuli. Lakini Nahoda Akiwa Ni Jesus Christ Natuwa Gobi ataweza kuendeleza melekevu mpaka ifike katika ukingo wa bahari. Kwa hivyo msiogope, challenges will come every time and again, but don't fear because the captain ya mashua hii ni Yesu Kristo mwenyewe. Kila wakati msisahau kumuuliza kama kuna jambo la kumuuliza. Kila wakati msisahau kumwalika kama kuna jambo ambalo linahitaji mashauri kutoka kwake. He will always be there to counsel with you. He is the only person that you can trust him. No other person but Jesus that you can trust. And Jesus will see you through. Now, it is the intention of God that we are happy in our marriages. And God, despite the fact that he does its complex uh, features, God is supposed to be a resort is supposed to be an asylum, an asylum of peace. Our homes, our marriages, and our homes. 
we are supposed to enjoy a peace and joy that comes from the Lord Himself. We are praying for you as we start this journey. Iweze kujawa na furaha tena. Na nyumba zenu, nyumba yenu, iweze kuwa ni nyumba ambayo mnafurahi kila wakati mkienda ile kutafuta mnao ile haraka uh, uh, ya moyo ya kuweza kurudi katika nyumba yenu. Kwa sababu ni mahali kuna thamani kubwa zenu. I'm telling you this because many of us today we have challenges. Our marriages have become so icy and uh, so cold. Ipaka wengine wanaogopa kuenda katika nyumba zao. Ipika usiku they wonder whether they should go home or they should go away. But when there is peace and joy at home, you will always not hesitate to rush home just to meet your dear one and be happy because it's like a resort. Now, a resort is like a place where people rejoice people have a retreat of their lives and people uh, just sit and relax, they pledge and they replenish their hearts. That's a result. That's how a home is supposed to be. Kwa hivyo, naome ya kwa matrima hii ya kwa matrima hapa siti ya leo. Iweze kuwa ni mahali, mafuraha, mahali, akamani katika wakati wote, katika siku zote. Na sikia nungu ya, that is our prayer. Another thing, I almost come to the head of my someone. Another thing, never always forget to invite Jesus Christ in all your family altars. The more you'll be praying, the more you'll be studying the word of God, the more you'll be seeking for counsel from the Lord Jesus Christ. Be rest assured that you'll grow stronger and stronger. And the Lord will keep you steady all the time in your marriage. Now, a few concepts to Madam Kolda. Madam Kolda, just uh, one concept. Give up your dreams of having a perfect marriage, but pray for the work towards a godly marriage. That is a very good advice, very good concept for you. This gentleman who are being joined today is not an angel. Who you live in a dam? Who you live in a dam? Ambaye ni mwenye dam? ambaye amesamanewa tu kwa sababu ya kipo cha Yesu Kristo msalabani. Kwa hivyo isi ushtue ukaweze kuona dosari fulani katika maisha yako. Unapoanza maisha hii ya ndoa. You need to see one or two. But uh, you must be able to pray for him. You must be able to accommodate him. You must be able to walk with him wakati ameanguka unapinua juu na unatembea pamoja. Ili, as you do that, your marriage will become a godly marriage. It will become a godly marriage. My brother, a wise counsel to you. As you come to, together as husband and wife today, know very well that we are coming together as grown-ups, as people who are over 18. And as a result of that, muko na mamu fulani ambayo mulikuwa munafanya you may have what we call the likes and dislikes. This, these are the things that Pastor Kim took you through. And don't forget that. Yes. So you will have a very good time to adjust so that you become compatible. That's why the Bible says that uh, uh, the two shall be joined together to become one flesh. And the Bible says again, as was read, that uh, a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall be joined to the wife and they shall become one flesh. Some Bible versions talk of cleaving, cleaving. That cleaving, that process of cleaving will become a reality when you accept and allow yourself to adjust. In certain false softballs on her side, you adjust. In certain uh, shortfalls on your side, she'll be able to adjust. And as a result, you will be cleaving. And from time to time, very soon, we'll be looking at you. Na mutakua mwana fanana kama nuku na dada. We'll wonder that Felix ameoa dada yake. Kambula ameoa nuku yake. 
ni kwa sababu hiyo living process imeendelea vizuri sasa kumeo mstana ambaye ana dalili ya kujua kupika ugali kwa sababu hii mwili uweze kuwa nayo bila kupika sasa kuhakikisha unamletea chakula ili apike haleluya hakikisha umeleta chakula that's why we say funda huyu kijana ambaye anakuwa leo hii is a handsome man is handsome in the sense that he has something in the heart ama wewe ni maskini wewe hai siko na kitu kwa mkono umletee hiyo kitu kwa mkono anatupikia au utakuwa sawa by the way uliona baba yake si ndio ni, ni anakaa kama yeye ha lakini baba kuna mwili si ndio so that means this is a seed of eating a seed of it comes from the family where people eat well shida alikuwa nayo tangu aingie hapa Nairobi alikosa kukula sasa umpikie chakula ili akule vizuri hallelujah eh hey, atakuwa tu pia kama zeongeri hapo asante sana i think that's at the end of our summit mama na usimama and the cop the best couple can just sit okay i want to make this request to you before i read the vows to you do you have